Hey boys and girls, it's Scotty the Redneck Canadian. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm going to call it Homestead University because that's kind of the stuff we do. And I'm going to try my best not to swear on this channel and try my best not to offend people, but no promises. So anyways, today instead of blowing stuff up like on my STR Canadian channel, I'm going to take care of this. I'm supercharging my burn barrel so that it's an incinerator. And uh, I got this idea from experimenting with some maple syrup uh, evaporators back in the spring. I'll show you how it works, and then we're gonna try it out. All right, so we just got our basic 55 gallon drum. I started a little fire in there with some excess firewood. Um, you know, we ventilated the sides and the bottom with a, you know, we didn't have to get precision, so we just did it with our nine millimeters. And uh, so what I did was I, Drilled a two inch hole here, put a two inch piece of electrical conduit there, and then I got an elbow, and then I had a couple pieces of 10 inch pipe that one day I'm gonna tap a well with. But, uh, and then I got this blower here on uh, Amazon for, I don't know, it was like 13 bucks. And then here I got a rheostat. It's a, it says fan controller, it was supposed to be a router controller, but whatever, it's a fan controller. And so this, I think, is like 400 feet per minute or something, cubic feet per minute. And so we'll just turn this on so it's very really good. We got it down to the lowest. And you see, I put it in on an angle. So I got this swirl burn going on now down here. So, all right, we're going to get this hot, and then we're going to throw some garbage in it, see what it do. I'm gonna try to see if maybe we can't get this some bitch hot enough, oh, that um, sucker hot enough that we can melt glass. And, you know, it's like August 19th or something like that, 17th. You know, it's kind of smelly garbage kind of time of the year, so. In goes the garbage. And then, I'm gonna lid this up like that. And, uh, Put a little bit of heat to it. We're gonna go low, low at first. It's looking pretty good though. We'll see what happens in a few minutes. All right, this is like literally 30 seconds later, and uh, you know I was building a a wood gasifier one time, and I kind of had a bad experience with it blowing up. And I just saw all the smoke coming out of all my little nine millimeter holes. And I thought to myself, self, if this thing blows up, it's gonna be like a bomb. And uh, you're standing like 10, 10 feet from it. So I took the lid off of it there. Um, Cause what was gonna happen is that if it somehow wasn't getting enough oxygen and it was getting so hot, as soon as I turned that off, it was gonna suck everything back in and it was gonna blow up. And I did not want that happen. So, um, I don't know, by the smell of it, I don't think that lid was necessary anyway. Let's see. Nice little swirl burn going. And there's pretty much no smoke. So, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can melt these bottles. You know, if we're gonna do that, thinking we might need to turn it up a bit. Like not up to 11 or nothing though. Oh yeah, that's a nice fire now. All right, see what happens. All right, so it's like one beer later almost. And you can see that stuff, it's, wow, that's hot. It's hot. It's starting to melt pretty good. boys and girls I'm two beers in and uh, I had a bunch of just waste bark and crap like that from cutting firewood the last couple weeks so I threw that in there and uh, it's going pretty good I mean I can't stand any closer than this I'm my shirt's drenched right now so uh, all right well, look at that swirl burn going that's freaking cool 
it's really hard to have a YouTube channel that I don't swear on, I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyway, let's check back when this is done and see what happened to our glass. Boys, check this out. We have success. Look at this. That is fucking freaking... This is really hard not to swear. That is molten glass right there. There is no more glass left in here. You can't hear any clinking. That is molten glass right there. So it's just going to be a big old ball. And I can bury that. So uh, this is awesome. Definitely we're able to melt some bottles so we don't have to worry about burying bottles and somebody digging them up someday and cutting themselves up. And uh, I tell you, I wish I would have just put the camera on that thing when I put the garbage in because literally it was like 15 seconds and that whole thing of garbage, that whole bag of garbage was gone. So anyway, I hope you liked the video and, uh, you know, subscribe and do whatever, you know, they tell you to do on all those other channels. And. Uh, come on back because I'm sure you're going to learn some stuff and we're going to do all kinds of redneck homestead and stuff and have a lot of fun. Have a good one. Keep your stick on the ice, eh?